Augustana and USF enter the key to the city game with identical two and one records. Making this year's rivalry game a little more special is the matchup being played in prime time. Kettle and Sean Bauer previews Thursday's contest. USF has dominated the key to the city game, winning six of the seven contests. As they and Augustana prepare for their eighth meeting, the matchup between the Cougars' rushing attack and the Vikings' run defense will be a determining factor. USF is running for nearly 250 yards per game this season, even without All-American running back Gabe Watson for a majority of their first three contests. I think a credit goes to our guys up front. It, you know, uh, having an All-American is nice back there, but uh, those other guys are no slouch, and the offensive line's making holes for them. Augie has limited its opponents to less than 100 yards rushing in its two wins, while surrendering more than 300 yards in its lone loss to MSU Mankato. Everybody in the conference know that uh, those guys in Mankato are the heavy hitters when it comes to the run, so it'll be a lot about discipline for the defense, and that's what we just got to play sound defense, sound gap defense, and uh, that's a big key. On the flip side of the ball, it'll be a matchup between Augustana's air raid offense, with Kyle Sadler throwing for over 260 yards per contest, and the turnover-inducing Cougars secondary, which has six interceptions in its last two games. You know, we'll spread the ball around. I think that's what I'm most proud of. You know, you look, we got six, seven, eight guys a game catching the ball. You know, nobody more than six to eight catches a game. So he's done a really good job of distributing the ball, and we need to continue to do that. We got to win some 50-50 battles, some jump ball battles, and uh, you know, be able to, to disguise what we're doing, but also put some pressure on him, get him off his first key, make him be uncomfortable. To add more intrigue to this year's matchup the teams will battle in prime time on Thursday night it's always the most exciting game of the year without a doubt in my mind I mean we have the whole city here so it's just a lot of fun plus being a prime time Thursday night just amps that up just a little bit more in Sioux Falls Sean Bauer Kellen Sports the Cougars and Vikings cross paths Thursday night at Bob Young Field kickoff is set for 605